are back with Reggie's VSG Closet. And we're going to go over my top five. Five favorite Disney, hence the ears, Christmas movies. Like, Christmas movies are everything. When I was a kid in my household, like, December came, we got the tree up after Thanksgiving. It was, it was Christmas movie time. We were going to Hollywood Video, because y'all knew back then we could not afford Blockbuster. Blockbuster was expensive. Y'all, that membership was so expensive. My parents were like, uh-uh. Hollywood Video, that was our place. And we were digging. We were looking for old Disney movies. We would, we would look for just any kind of Disney. Disney. Well, it didn't have to, you know, to be honest, it did not have to be Disney. Just any kind of Christmas movie we could dig up and we would have like Friday night Christmas movie tree lit. Oh, lights off. Oh my gosh, y'all. Popcorn. The, the whole nine. Like it was just the three of us. Me, my mom, my dad. And y'all, we had a blast as if we were a family of like 10. Just so many good memories. Such a good time. So I'm going to go over my top five favorite Disney Christmas movies. All right. So before I dive in, I want y'all to get the full view of this t-shirt. Y'all can't see much of it because I'm kind of... You know, the way we gotta shoot things, we gotta shoot things. Um, so I'm gonna stand up and y'all, I will put a link in the description to where you can get one of these tees. It's amazing. Oh So Sweet and Co, one of my favorite besties, awesome, amazing friends from TikTok makes these, y'all, they're so cute. When do you ever see Goofy by himself on a t-shirt? Like, Santa Goofy at that. Y'all, this t-shirt is chef's kiss. I absolutely love it. It is definitely one of my favorite holiday tees that I've ever purchased. And again, the link in the bio to where you guys can order yourselves one. Because, oh, so good. The color. Everything about this t-shirt. Anyway, we are here for my top five favorite Disney Christmas movies. Alright, y'all. So, diving in, number one on my list is going to be home alone just it, there are no words like all of us as kids wanted to rig up our house and like make things crash and people fall through the floor and all kind of foolishness like after we saw that movie like we were like oh we are rigging this house up we are going to uh, just get our parents or our little brother or sister or something like everybody wanted to rig their house up and do all of the antics from this movie. Alright, so next up, number two, it has to be none other than Home Alone 2. Y'all, so he makes it to their destination, but then gets lost in New York. I'm originally from New York. So seeing that movie as a kid, like, we had already moved down to South Carolina, so I'm like, is this New York? Like, I didn't know New York as, like, the travel, touristy parts of New York. I just knew kind of the Bronx and home. I was young when we moved down here, probably about six or seven. So, I was like, I want to go there and I want to get lost in New York because this looks like fun. So, Home Alone 2, definitely top of my list. So, number two goes to Home Alone 2. All right, y'all. So, number three for me goes to the Santa Claus. I just love that movie. The antics, the fact that he didn't believe in Santa Claus and then he falls off his roof and he becomes Santa. Like, all of that, the antics, the little boy in that movie, he's so cute. I always think about like what little like cute little kids from like older movies are like doing right now and like I just wonder like what his life is like right now. I'll have to go look him up on TikTok and see. A lot of people post those like where are they now videos on TikTok but y'all the Santa Claus top notch just good good Christmas must watch every season just one of my faves. All right y'all so number four makes the list because of like a technical I don't even know what it's called in sports a technicality okay so number four was a 20th century Fox movie but since Disney bought Fox it's technically a Disney movie right now right so number four for me is Jingle All The Way 
Jingle All The Way, y'all. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Sinbad. Y'all, that movie? Like, I am ready to go watch that one right now. The antics, the just back and forth, the fighting over the toy, the just the rivalry between these two guys. Just like, y'all, it's so good. I love it. It reminds me of like the stories my dad used to tell me about him getting me a Roger Rabbit when I was a kid and we lived in New York. And Roger Rabbit was like this big toy back then, kind of like the Tickle Me Elmo era. Y'all, so Jingle All The Way, number four for me. All right, so for number five, you guys, we had a lot of movies that had just antics and fun and just a lot going on. So I wanted to kind of round it out with number five, something gorgeous, something, it's, it has adventure, but it's a little more serious but it's just a beautiful movie to look at for me. Um, I loved this movie. I was in awe of just like all of the cinematography, all of the special effects, all of that was just beautiful to me. And I'm going with The Nutcracker and The Four Realms. Like that movie was just a beautiful movie. It was just a gorgeous, just, I don't need, it was a true fairy tale. So there is my top five. I'm probably going to go watch them all. Let's do a binge night, a Christmas, Disney Christmas movie binge night. I'm here for it. I will probably be setting that up very soon, maybe closer to Christmas. Y'all, let me know your top five in the comments below. What are your favorite Disney movies? How, like, list them all, because I want to know if there's some that I haven't seen. I love, like, going back and seeing older movies that I might have missed but let me know how you feel about my top five. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're in Vlogmas day four. We're making it y'all. We're trekking through. More to come. As always, I love you guys very much. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye!